On April 19th, a young bearded vulture left the area where she spent the last year, in the Grand Cause in France. She went north, flew across over Paris, uh, between the Eiffel Tower and the Arc de Triomphe on scene, flew north and um, last night entered Belgium, uh, spent the night there and today she uh, entered the Netherlands and is now roosting in an area in the southern part of the country. We can follow her travels because of the GPS tag uh, attached to her back. And with this tag I am able to follow her um, and I'm going to try and find her to see if she's okay um, and give a check on, uh, on her general health. Let's see if we can find her. Okay, I found her. Found her in the southern part of the Netherlands. She's in a forested area. As you can see, she's right in the, at the edge of a road on a quite an open piece of, uh, of forest with pine trees. She's roosting on top of it and uh, she's looking quite good. She looks healthy, she's preening herself and uh, I don't think there's anything to worry about her at this moment. Although it's quite normal behavior for bearded vultures to uh, disperse over large different uh, distances in their second or third calendar year, it still remains quite rare that a bird turns up in, uh, in the Netherlands or even northwestern Europe. That means that if a bird is, uh, is here and uh, it shows herself really well, it, it attracts a lot of attention. So there are up to 100 birders uh, at one time here looking at her. Also a lot of uh, just nature enthusiasts that, that want to see a glimpse of this huge bird that has shown up. And we, we saw, saw a, a crowd. Vulture. Yeah, we saw a crowd looking at a very big bird. And it's a vulture. And yeah. it's so unbelievable. The, the colors are alive. so beautiful. Yeah. Like, like with a black hat and a red eye. And with his wings open, he's very big. In real life. And, and not in a movie or not in a zoo. Yeah. In real life. And we saw it fly. We saw him fly. You liked it? Yeah, yeah, I, yeah liked I liked it very much. It was so special. It's special. It's a one in life like opportunity. You don't see this every day. No, no. Today is the 17th of May. Uh, Eglazine has been with us for nearly three weeks. And I think this is the 15th time uh, I visit her in the field to check on her. Uh, unfortunately, uh, a visit wasn't possible every day as she also roosted in the military ground, which is closed off. She is doing fine and we are doing everything we can to ensure her safety during her stay in the, in the Netherlands and um, we hope she returns home safely uh, as soon as possible.